How's it going guys, that Pearson Game here and today I will be bringing you an update on my PlayStation 4 games and my overall thoughts on them. Plus a couple of PS4 games that I will hopefully be picking up in the future. So let's get started. First off, we have Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Now this was one, not one of my favourite games. I did not like it, I thought the boats was a step too far for the Assassin's Creed franchise but then after playing through the story more I started to enjoy it more I did finish it on Sunday I think so I will hopefully be doing a full review on Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag but for now my overall thoughts are it has a, it does have a solid story. It tries to be as good as poss my favorite Assassin's Creed, which is Assassin's Creed Two. I probably put this just behind it. The multiplayer is also fun with the new Wolfpack update. Me and Ryan that also play, that also runs this channel and uploads videos. We play Wolfpack all the time and we really enjoy it. So far, I'm ranked forty one, I think. On the multiplayer and range rank 21 I think. is either 19 or 21. But really we enjoy the multiplayer this. I am currently on 85% trophies earned in the game. I only have a couple more to go. But the, camp the combat and everything in this game is fluid. So overall I give this an 8.2 out of 10. If you do have any of these games on PlayStation 4, leave your PlayStation name, PSN name in the comments and we'll add an Elijah, me or Ryan Elijah, and we'll invite you and we'll just have fun. The next game I have is Battlefield 4. Now, this, in my opinion, is a flop. I did have high hopes for this, but... I don't, I just can't come to terms with how badly this game actually is. The campaign is bare bones passable. I did beat it on hard, but it took four attempts because the, the campaign saved, deleted. Then the multiplayer is just terrible, I mean... It's got the elastic banding, the every, every time and sometimes it resets, but luckily for me I did manage to earn every achievement in the game apart from the DLCs because I ain't paying DLC price for this. This game is a flop. I do enjoy the Battlefield series but I do not know how this game got released with how bad it is. And to be honest with you, I think they should fix this first and fetch Barford Hall Line out next year, not in October. This game needs fixing first. Because if this game's like this, how will Battlefield Hall Line be? I'm hugely disappointed in EA. I can't blame Dice for it because they did quite a time. They probably asked for more time, but EA, knowing EA, they're probably like, no, just release it, we'll fix it whenever, but. Yeah, they just don't care. S same with FIFA, they don't care. Next, we have Kills on Shadow Fall. The reason it has this not to be sold separately stickers is because I got this bundled with my PlayStation 4, but I wish I did not buy this game, to be honest. The campaign reminds me of Crisis. It tries to be a Crisis. It's too open world. The objectives are too far apart, really. It's not... I'm a big fan of Killzone, I Platinum Killzone 3, legit. Killzone 2, I got halfway through, but my save data corrupt, unfortunately. But this is a huge disappointment. Well, the campaign is anyway. The multiplayer is fun, because all the weapons are unlocked already, and um, you just have complete challenges to unlock attachments and stuff, but for me... This is the worst entry in the Killzone series. 
Next we have Knack. Another PlayStation 4 exclusive. Knack is a very fun game, but it does get repetitive. It's the same combat system. There's no change to it. I mean, you do grow bigger in the game. So this size now, but you start off this big. And then you get bigger and bigger and bigger to that big. But one problem I have with this game, on certain chapters, you finish this big. But for some reason, instead of starting the new chapter that big, you start off back to the normal size, which I don't think would happen. There are rumours that Night 2 could be coming out in the near distant future. I hope they do make it, but it not be as repetitive. To be honest with you, this has got the, probably the worst double jump ever. I mean, I've all made this. Uh, Crenry Games, I think. These guys. Oh. I hope it does have online co-op night too. Then we could do co-op for it, but it's not a terrible game overall. I'd probably give it a seven point five out of ten. But I will do full reviews on all these games. But I feel I'd probably give six point nine. Kills on I give a six. But that's just my thoughts so far. But I will do full reviews if you want to see them. Just comment down below which games you want me to review. Next we have Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Um, for me this game, yeah I know it's meant to be the prologue for The Phantom Pain. Which comes out next year or this year, I'm not too sure. But I beat it in 35 minutes. 35 minutes and I paid 25 quid for this game. That's daylight robbery in my opinion. Yeah, you have the main mission and then you have side missions, but other than that, there's no replayability at all. I mean, I hope, I mean, even Hiyodo Kojima had to make an appearance in this game as soon as the game started okay uh, a Hodi Kojima production yeah we know you made the game you don't need to glue your name all over it but it is a good game graphics on this game are outstanding for, for the PlayStation 4 so I give it mm, 7.5 next alongside with Assassin's Creed my favorite game is another one of my favorite games on PlayStation 4 and that is Rayman Legends. Yeah, this did come out on the PlayStation 3. I did not play on PlayStation 3. But this is one of my favourite platform games ever possibly made. I did fully enjoy Rayman Legends. I'll damage the case. I'll repair it. But I actually really enjoyed this game. It is worth I mean, it's only 20 or oh, 25 or 30 pounds brand new. And you can, you do get the Assassin's Creed costume, you can snapshot and record, and you can use the PSV as a second screen, and also these graphics on this game are outstanding, probably on par with Knack, but yeah, this is a great game in my opinion, I mean, you do have the music levels, I think they had Eye of the Tiger in it, so yeah. Also, it has uh, the Rayman Origins and some of the Rayman Origins levels. So, you're actually getting two games for the price of one. So, if you didn't play Origins, i just get Rayman Legends and play that. Until you unlock the Origins levels and then play them ones. But, I give this game a 9 out of 10. I really enjoy this game. Fluid combat, level variety, no repetitiveness in the game. Solid game for the PlayStation 4. Next we have, well, my final PlayStation 4 game, the new release Trials Fusion. I did purchase the retail edition for the, si the season pass. This is actually possibly the second best Trials Fusion game behind Trials Evolution. That was my favourite, then Trials Fusion, and then 
Trials HD, I think. But this cost me thirty-two pound. Um, I think I don't is the I don't know if the multiplayer is out for this game yet. I know the tournaments and uh, track creator, but and with this game though. I found the extreme tracks to be too hard compared to Trials Evolutions levels. They are way harder, especially Inferno 5. Off Inferno 4. I think it's Inferno 4. I have to check, but... This is actually a great game. Great price. I mean, you have the new FMX tracks in the game. There are also six DLC packs to come out. Which is possibly great value. I think it's fifty pound for again digital and fifteen pound for the season pass. But I think it's worth the price tag. Great game, I'd probably get eight point four. I just wish it had multiplayer now, and it possibly would be higher. But that is my play through from Fall Collection for now. Uh, the game, the PS4 games I'm hopefully be getting soon are Thief, which I'll probably hopefully get in the next month or so. Destiny, we do, I do have, me and I both have access to the beta. We're going to be playing a hell of a lot of that and hopefully uploading a lot of the Destiny beta. That's pre ordered, that's paid off September 9th. We're going to have an unboxing of it, a, sh a stream as well, I'm just so ready for the game, um, possibly Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I haven't decided yet, uh, I don't know what to make of it, but I think it could be good, Battlefield Hardline I'm optimistic about, but yeah, that's Probably that. Oh, and Assassin's Creed Unity. I maybe get that as well, just for the co-op. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. That is the PlayStation 4 collection and my opinions. If you enjoy this, give it a thumbs up, comment, share with your friends. As we're approaching 50 subs now, um, we do have multiple Destiny code bear cards giveaway. Two will be given away on YouTube videos. And two will be giving away in either mine or Ryan's streams next week. Just after the beta launches. So don't forget to like, rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up the button, share with your friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.